in this video we will see how we can trigger a dms task from step function and here i have used this capability application task this task is mainly to find status of the uh, dms task so if you want to know the status of a particular uh, uh, running dms task you can uh, use this discrete repeating task this gives you the status of the task right now in dms po dms uh, portal so you could see that one, i have only one uh, data migration task i'll copy this here and this is my error here okay I'm going to copy this. I'm going to step function. I'm going to create a new state machine. In this here, we'll see how we can uh, uh, describe the application task. Click on uh, next. So I'm going to first time I'm going to start the application task. So start application task. New task. So if you want more information about this task, just click on this information thing. It will give you the complete set of uh, uh, documentation. Like uh, what values we need to provide here. So, for example, in my case, I need to provide this uh, replicant error which I copied. So, I'm going to paste this one. The next one I want to under is replicant task type. So, it's going to task type is uh, here. Uh, you can use any of these uh, standard replication. Assume we're using reload target. So, I'm going to use reload target. So, this is my one. This is I'm going to use here. So, next one is I'm going to use a describe uh, replicant task to find status of this uh, uh, task script replication, replication task so here if you again you go to information you find the documentation page so what you have to pass here is we need to provide these values here so I'm going to copy this one so I'm going to copy this I'm going to provide in this uh, uh, if you go to the replicant task, you'll find this parameters. Just paste here. And the first thing you want to provide is the name. So here, name. What you want to provide here is the name which you want to provide. Uh, the name which you want to provide is filter names, like whether it's replicant task here and or the replicant task ID or the migration type. In here. So I'm going to give the replicant task here and here. So this is the one I'm going to choose here. Task here and then task here and next one I need to provide the value for the here and. So this is my here and. I'll copy this again and I'm going to paste this here and value here. Here, that's all for this one. And the remaining things are like uh, I'm going to choose optional paging token that I really don't need. Maximum number of uh, uh, record to be the response. So I'm going to give the paging a space here. A number I'm going to use some 20 number because the default number here is 20 and 100 without string boolean it's just give false because it's gonna say it's gonna overhead the setting information so better will give false default is false so i'm gonna give false there this one click on next this one describe One thing I'm gonna uh, create a role here, the new role here I'm creating here. So I'm click on create. Uh, it was like this. Uh, I need to we need to add all those, all those rules again here. So click uh, click on the edit role. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is a new role being created for this one describe task. So here need to add those uh, policies. Click on here, create a line of policies for the DMS. On service to service, I'm going to choose DMS. So all DMS read, tagging, write all those access. Click on resource. Uh, you can pick the resource whichever you want to give, but for this video, I'm going to give all resources. Click on review policies. This I'm going to give a name here. policies need policies my policies are attached so I'm going to run this one now so give start execution started so step function if you see here the output if you see the output is full load and the status will showing a status here is starting so describe task 
so input for this one show sec starting the output if you see the output you will find status is starting so after some time if you run the status again this will show all the status for example right now if you see to go to dms you will find the status as starting right so that's the reason the describe status also shows the status as starters the status as starting so let's see if it is ch once it change to running then uh, you can run the status again so for example if we want to again modify this and test this one just modify it in the state machine now i'm going to click on uh plus studio i'm going to remove this one just to save this one and run start execution let's see what this shows us to show now step input nothing step output step output is showing is running now right so in this way if you want to find status of a particular uh, replication task you can uh, loop into this Describe the task and uh, you can find it as till it gets goes to complete or stopped. So in that way, you can find state now it is showing as running here. That's the reason you also see the step function as running here. So, so it runs immediately and just do the status. If you want to uh, uh, wait for a particular status, just loop into this uh, loop, uh, loop, put loop and uh, verify status till it goes successful. That way, you can verify status. Uh, that's for this video. Thanks for watching.